What's up everyone, it's Butcher from the Tried Instinct Clan. Join our Discord, link in the description, and I hope you enjoy the Chemist Guide. Alright, we're going to talk about the auto attack first. It has 560 damage and 1260 AoE damage for an 820 damage direct hit and 1120 AoE healing. This is not affected by directs. Rapid Shot does 140 damage and 560 AoE damage for a 700 damage direct and 560 healing, not affected by directs. 40% damage mitigation and 7000 healing makes this one of the best ults to save allies, and the 40% damage bonus isn't bad either. Chemist Passive, Improved Compound, increases healing by 50% from all sources. It's extremely effective. All right, that brings me to your main goal. As any healer, you want to stay alive for as long as possible. So watch as I poorly peek around this corner and take damage. When you could just as easily walk back, take no damage, and heal him up. In this clip, I wanted to make a point about reloading while your ability is up. Five shots, I reload, everybody's full health. Four shots, time to reload. Oh no, Ruby's low. Ability, good to go. More of the basics, auto attacks. Watch the fort take a little bit less damage because he's slightly further away. Here's those direct hits I was talking about. 1820 damage. Doesn't matter if you're big or small. 3 AoEs and an ability is enough to take care of most squishies, but not the tanks. This ability does 7,120 damage. You can also charge it, but it doesn't appear to change the effects. This clip shows the dangers of indirect damage. Try to make sure to shoot in the direction your opponent is walking for maximum damage. yourself, the combo does just shy of 10,000 damage, and an extra auto will even kill a fort. A full heal, heals for about 5,000 health, and doesn't care about AoE. As you'll see in this clip, your ult does your healing no good. Remember your auto attack placement in stressful situations, they can get you out of some tough spots. Remember to try to get your shots as close to enemies while still healing allies for the maximum effectiveness on Chemist. Well-timed ability, healing up from an ultimate, will allow you to decimate your opponents in almost every single team fight. As if chemist healing isn't enough to fear, you can go ahead and peek for free if you use your ability a little bit early to soak the damage. is going to be a solid example of how to use your ult to break a tight corner. There's one, two dangerous enemies, Jabali shields low. And I go ahead, hold them up, and let them push through the corner. One, two, three, and we take the lead. Use your ult to get out of sticky situations and save two allies. With your ult and one with your primary fire. Don't forget to just stay alive and let your team do the heavy lifting from time to time. Also, when using your ult, be sure to already taking damage to get the most effect out of it. 
enjoy the culmination of the video as I execute all of the things we talked about in this one clip. Alright, that's going to conclude my first guide, so let me know what you think in the comments down below and who you want me to do next.